Krishna, everyone, myself, Samajit, I welcome you all to our last session of Chariots of Devotion 2023. So today, basically, it will be a little different from what we were usually doing since last nine days or 10 days. So today, everyone will be experience, uh, sorry, sharing their experiences that what they felt, what changes they have been through within the span of these 10 days and they can share their experiences through unmuting themselves and afterwards if you have some question you can post them in the Q&A session and today with us we have His Grace Dasrat Priyadas Prabhuji with us who can answer if someone want to. So I would request participants to raise your hand and our team will unmute you so that you can share your experience of last nine days. Asmita has raised hand. You can unmute him. He can speak. So, Mujit Prabhu, you can unmute Asmit. Yes, Prabhu. Speak. He has raised hand. Yes, Prabhuji. Now, Ashmi can. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hello. Hare Krishna. Um, ah, this 10 days and 9 days have been like a different experience from what I have heard about God and all. First, I came to this institute, Parikshit, and I learned more about. Uh, how to improve the connection with Lord, how to gain more knowledge about our culture. I didn't at all knew uh, that what I was lacking in my life, but when I came to the institute, um, I got contact with all the teachers and they, uh, what they said and uh, made an experience. I can't express it in words. But during these nine days, I've heard a lot about things of Jagannath that I didn't know before. Of course, I heard from my mother too, because we have an Odia background. So she told me a lot and they matched pretty well. But these 10 days have really made me gain a lot of experiences and I will not forget it forever. Thank you for all those uh, uh, lecturers and you of us, you who impart the knowledge to us. I'm very grateful for that. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Any, anybody else would like to speak something? We request all the students to kind raise, kindly raise their hand in case they want to speak something. They, they felt that this um, uh, sessions of uh, so far that was being conducted was helpful to them. They learned something. They found it uh, useful. They can use it in their day-to-day uh, -day life, or they would like to uh, to apply the knowledge which they received during these days, or any any other nice pastimes of Jagannath which they liked. Anything you would like to speak, you can speak. So you have uh, some amount of time. Then we'll uh, conclude this session for today. So please, uh, yeah. yeah. Arnab who has raised hand and we have given the access to unmute, he can. And uh, Somyajit Prabhu, in case somebody wants to ask any question also, they can they can ask. Yes, Prabhu. Because uh, uh, I believe mean, there are so many questions. So many questions. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. Ah, yeah, please speak. Hare Krishna, I am Arun of Mishra of Standard 8. And uh, I yes. have newly joined the, the Parikshit Institute. I have heard a lot about this institute that uh, they spread holiness, they spread spirituality among the children. And that is the thing my parents uh, had done admission here. I have learned a lot 
things in this last nine days about Jagannath and about gods. Before I think that I have learned very less about Jagannath temple, but I don't know about it that Jagannath is so wonderful that he also have bhaktas like Saravega and many more. So I just wanted to say that learning something from this like Prabhuji's and uh, I'm very glad that I am a student of Parikshit. Thank you, sir. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Aruna. Thank you. Nice, nice comment. Thank you. Anybody else? In case anybody has any questions, question which was not answered of any of the previous sessions, they, they also can be asked. Because as I understand, many you had many questions and because of uh, limitations of time, we are not given permission in the previous days. So today we have a uh, session for that also. In case somebody wants to ask any questions uh, referring to the previous sessions, you can also ask. Yes, Sui Kru, somebody has raised hand. Yes, please uh, unmute. Not able to see his full name. Yeah, Sukriti Rani is fine. Yeah, we have given her the access now, she can speak. Yeah, you can tell which standard you are in, and then what you want to say. Yeah, please speak. Yeah, please speak. Yes, why is not speaking? No, Prabhuji, I think they haven't unmuted their heads. So okay. that we have given the access to Samir Rauth, he can also speak now. Yeah, yeah, Samir, he can speak. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Sir, okay. I am from DAV 12. Okay. Sir, Hindi chalega? Ah, chalega, bilkul chalega. Tune chalega. Ah, to, sir, I want to ask you a मैं पहले यह बोलना चाहता हूं कि यह जो 10 दिन का एक्सपीरियंस रहा बहुत अच्छा लगा जगन्नाथ जी के बारे में बहुत कुछ सुनने और जानने को मिला जो कि मैं खुद ओडिशा में रहकर भी नहीं जानता था ऐसे ऐसे होता है और जगन्नाथ जी ऐसे थे और यह यह नीला रचते थे जो सुन के बहुत अच्छा लगा और भी आशा थी कि और ज्यादा सुनने को मिलती पर जितना दिन के लिए हुआ था तो वो काफी है कभी फ्यूचर मिलेगा तो अलग बात है पर मेरा क्वेश्चन यह है कि हम एक जन को प्रभु जी मतलब कब बोले कि मेरे मन में ये दो आंसर आ चुके हैं पहले आंसर है कि उसके अंदर ब्रह्मदेव का वास है इसलिए हम उसको प्रभु बोले या खुद वो भगवान को समर्पित कर चुका है वो मतलब वो सब संसार त्याग चुका है मोह माया से बंद था सब कुछ त्याग चुका है इसलिए उसको प्रभु जी बोलना चाहिए okay. तो पहला वाला आंसर आपका करेक्ट है कि it is said that <clears throat> Lord is there present in everybody's heart. Sabke Hridaya mein Bhagawan hai. To us bhaav se hum sabko prabhu ke bulaate hai. Sanman dete hai. Kyunki everybody's body is a temple of God. That's why we give respect. And in general, it is an it is a etiquette to respect one and all. So this addressing somebody as a prabhu is like an, like an giving an address as a, as a matter of respect. Hum sanman de rahe isko. कि हम आपको प्रभु बुला रहे हैं या फिर आप इंग्लिश में सर बुलाते हैं या फिर श्रीमान बुलाते हैं तो ये एक रिस्पेक्ट है एक एटीट्यूड है प्रभु बोलते हैं सर ठीक है ठीक और कोई यस देयर आर मेनी मेनी हैंड्स हैव दे हैव रेस्ट सो प्लीज अनम्यूट देम दे विल Yes, anybody wants to speak, please unmute and speak. You give access to this. Vayam Patnaik, you can yeah. speak now. You are getting, getting echo from your side. Uh, yeah, please speak. 
in case you are not speaking then we will read the questions that are being posted in the meeting so please quickly unmute yourself and ask Prabhu ji, Swayam Patnaik is a participant. We have given access, but I think he is unaware about it. Okay, you tell them. No, you tell them. You tell them. Swayam, you are. He was speaking something, but he got muted. I don't know. Okay, Prabhu ji, we will move to the next participant. Yeah, give access to others quick. So much time is going. Sikriti Rani Swayam, we have given the access. Now she can speak. Hare Krishna Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna. Um, uh, I am from class 11. As I belong from Odia, Odia family, I knew many things about Lord Jagannath, about the Sri Mandira, his devotees and all. But I didn't know everything about it in detail, which I come to know in these sessions. I really love the sessions and I learned many things from the sessions. And uh, Prabhu ji, one question I have, which uh, I am unable to get the answer. Yeah, ask. Uh, yes, Prabhuji. Mm. I had heard in my childhood, since childhood, that uh, Lord Jagannath, uh, while going to his Gundicha temple, Gundicha Jatra, he also went to his aunt's house to eat Kodo Pitha. So, what's the story? Okay, it's a good question. So, that is not while going, uh, means there is a temple called Ardhasini Devi. Ardhasini Devi is, uh, is uh, so if you go to if you go from uh, Sri Mandir to to Gundicha Temple through through Bodhadanda Grand Road, on the right hand side there is a temple. You will see that called Ardhasini Devi. Halfway, Ardhasini Devi is called is the like uh, Mausi Ji of Jagannath. So she looks very similar to Subhadra Maharani, and uh, Jagannath stays there for some time. And the favorite uh, she makes a there there in that temple they make a special item called Podopita which is made in uh, rice and uh, your mother might be knowing, you can ask. And they, they make and offer to Jagannath. So this is like uh, Mausi's view of Jagannath. The temple looks, the deity looks very similar to Subhadra Maharani, Ardhasini Devi. So that is Jagannath's favorite prasadam. Jagannath, Kodopitha uh, is very special and uh, dear to Jagannath. And the temple there it is offered. Thank you, okay. Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. Next question. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Bishop Prachuja this time. I am uh, ex student of Parikshit. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to thank you for these 10 days lectures about Lord Jagannath, significance of Ratyatra and his past times. There were so many facts I have heard about Lord, which was not completely true. So uh, in this sessions, I got to know the actual fact uh, and actual the real truth about uh, Jagannath that how they appeared and all. So thank you so much that you took out time for this. The way Prabhuji has explained the glories of their mercy, Leela and their beauty, we could actually feel them. And the connection between Lord and me getting very stronger and stronger each day passing. So. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your sincere listening. Yes, next question. Hello, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare कभी मेरे को या मेरे फैमिली को नहीं पता होगा लेकिन मैं ये क्लासेस से जो जो सीखा हूं वो सब मैं पहले से नहीं जानता था और जितना ही मैं 10 क्लासेस में करता गया करता गया उतना ही मेरे को रियलाइजेशन हुआ कि मैं को कितना कम पता था भगवान के बारे में तो उसके लिए मैं बहुत शुक्रिया अदा आपका और अनुयो करना चाहूंगा कि मैं ये सब ज्ञान लाभ कर पाया हो सकता भी बहुत थैंक यू करना चाहूंगा खुद को भी बहुत थैंकफुल हूं कि परिषद ज्वाइन किया ताकि ये क्लास कर पाया शायद अगर परिषद ज्वाइन ना किया होता तो बाद में फ्यूचर में शायद जान पाता या फिर शायद जिंदगी में ये सब कभी नहीं जान पाता तो उसके लिए आपका अनुरोध शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहूंगा थैंक यू 
Hare Krishna. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, again, thank you so much. Next question. Question or comment, whatever. Next. Hare Krishna, Babuji. Ah, Boli, Dinesh, Boli. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Dinesh Sahu and I am of a student of class 10. So uh, I like this class uh, very much. I knew uh, knew many things about Jagannath previously, but uh, uh, now I know very thing, many uh, things about Jagannath very detailed way and systematic way. So my question is that uh, uh, as Jagannath is very merciful, then why he has made this mortal world uh, so beautiful uh, due to which we get uh, distracted from his bhakti and uh, uh, we uh, means uh, indulge in worldly things and in not in his bhakti. Yeah. So Jagannath, uh, first of all, we should understand that if Jagannath has, you understand that Jagannath has made this world and this world is so beautiful and this is only Jagannath's, this is not the full manifestation of Jagannath's uh, mercy this world is jagannath has just made krishna has made this world but it is he is not so much interested in this world and in this world is so beautiful so attractive then how much will be his real world which is his own world the eternal world how much nice will be that one so we should be desiring to go there that should be all right he has given a glimpse of of that that eternal world in this world so that आप क्या कर सकते हैं इस दुनिया का अच्छे चीज को देख के जगन्नाथ जी का स्मरण करना चाहिए और उनके पास वापस जाने का इच्छा होना चाहिए ना कि इस दुनिया बहुत इस दुनिया में जो भी चीज आप अच्छे देख रहे हैं वो थोड़ा समय के लिए अच्छा है और उसके साथ में बहुत आ, बहुत सारे डेंजर्स एसोसिएटेड इन दिस वर्ल्ड बट दैट इज नॉट द केस इन स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इज फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल मिजरीज तो हमारा ये इच्छा होना चाहिए कि कैसे वो दुनिया में वापस जाएंगे क्योंकि जगन्नाथ जी हमको प्रेम करते हैं तो इसलिए हमको अपॉर्चुनिटी दी है रिफॉर्मेशन के लिए और हमको जो जो चाहिए इधर रहने के लिए वो बनाया है ना कि जो अभी इसलिए बनाया है कि वो चीज को आप यूज करके अंत में जब ये शरीर छोड़ेंगे तो मेरे पास वापस आ जाओ ये जगन्नाथ जी का आपसे अभिलाषा है ना कि आप इस दुनिया में जो थोड़ा 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 जो अच्छा चीज है उसको भोग के इस दुनिया में रहो ये इच्छा नहीं है ये तो जगन्नाथ जी का कृपा है हमारे ऊपर कि वो हमको इस दुनिया हम जब उनको छोड़ के आए हैं फिर भी वो हमारे लिए इतना सारा चीज बनाए हैं ताकि हम अच्छे से जी सके और उनके पास वापस लौट जाए ये हमारा ये उनका अभिप्राय है लेकिन अगर हम वो जो छोटे छोटे चीज को भोग के इधर ही रह जाएंगे तो वो हमारा गलती है समझ रहे हैं आप तो ये थैंक यू थैंक यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सर प्रभु जी फॉर अल Moving to the Q and A section because a lot of questions have been posted here. So okay. fine. Yes. Quickly, give me my answer. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. Here, Sarthak Muni asks that Hare Krishna, Prabhu. I wanted to ask the question that why is God reincarnating and doing the leelas and repeatedly for crores of janams and what is the end of it? Okay, there is no end of it. These all leelas of Krishna are eternal and the, they have. The purpose behind Krishna taking incarnation is to take us back to his own place. Take us away from this world of misery. That is the only purpose. There is no other purpose. Okay, next question. Pratyush Shahu asks that Hare Krishna Prabhuji, why Adharapana ritual is done? Yeah, this Adharapana, see Lord, it is that you know, the devotees are giving drink to the Lord up to because when Jagannath took uh, the shape of Jagannath, Indra Duna Maharaj, he asked three boons. One boon was that you keep always eating. Always eating. And the eating means, you know, generally when you offer anywhere in the temple, traditional temples anywhere, you cook and you take a bit of it and offer. But that's not the case with Jagannath. You, you offer whatever is being cooked directly. Directly you take the pot from the chula and offer it to Jagannath. In Jagannath, there is no system that you take a bit of it and you offer. So take everything and offer. So the other one is like that. Big, big pots of in which they, they made um, juice. And there's a story behind it. I exactly don't know who is the devotee because all, all foods, eatables, that which is are offered to Jagannath, 
they have a devotee associated with it because of which Jagannath is eating that. All past things. So all they like Haja. There's a devotee who was a Muslim devotee. He did not know how to offer it to the Lord. So he just told Haja and Haja. So by that name, God is eating Haja. So all past times. Similarly, other Bana also. I exactly don't know the story, but it is like that. Okay, next question. Okay, Prabhuji, here Pratyush Priyansu asked that Hare Krishna Prabhuji, how can we know that we are always in the right path and away from all the distractions? Oh, very good question. Very good question. How to how we can know that we are away from all? Uh, there are scriptures. There are books of knowledge called called scriptures like Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. They are they are like the beacon light. They always say what is good and what is bad. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that Yah Sastra Vidhi Musrije Vartate Kama Karata Nasa Siddhi Mahapuna. In another place, he says that that uh, that Karya Karo Bevastito act. What is good, what is bad, you should know it from the scriptures. So Bhagavad Gita Krishna already has spoken what is good, what is bad. He says that one should not do meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex. So all these are forbidden activities. And they are, they are prescribed activities. He says, Yat Parosiya Dasnasiya Juhosiya Dadasiya Tadkursa Madhar You do it as an offering to me. All like your studies, your job, your profession, everything can be done, can be done as a sacrifice to Krishna. So that has to be done. So and also he has told any activity that is taking you towards this forbidden activity, meat eating, intoxication, illicit sex, and gambling, they are forbidden activity. One should always mold his life away from these four activities. Meat eating, intoxication, gambling, and illicit sex. One should always take his life away from this. And one should lead his life towards by, by which one will be developing his God consciousness. Whether your, whether your studies, your profession, or a job, your family life, everything has to be offered to Jagannath. So you have to say, for example, you are a student, you are studying, or you are going for a job, you can remember that Jagannath, I am doing it as a special offering to you. Please give me good intelligence. This much prayer is also good enough. And you can chant his holy name. There is a Lord wants that if you chant his name, visit his temple, attend his like classes like this, like that your life will be perfect. Okay, next question. So Prabhuji, now we again have so many hand raises in the participant list, so we have to unmute them so they can ask the question. So here they can ask the question. Yeah. No, you give chance to those who have not asked now. Many of them, they have Abhigyan has already asked. Give chance to those. मेरा नाम सुदान है मैं क्लास ट्वेल्थ से हूँ पर एक्चुअली में पढ़ता हूँ आज से तीन साल पहले जब क्लास एट में मैं था तब तक मुझे मतलब मंदिर जाने में इतना पसंद नहीं था लोग भी मुझे मतलब बाबा मुझे बोलते थे कि चलो चलो मेरे को पसंद नहीं था सर उन्हें सर सब लोग पैसे के पीछे ही भागते थे कोई मतलब ऐसे � उसके बाद मायापुर जब मैं गया मैं देखा तो सराम में इतना अच्छा लगा मेरे को कि मतलब अलग से इतना इंटीग्रेशन एक तो हुआ मेरे को तो आज तीन साल हो गए परिचित में पढ़ रहा हूँ और जहाँ भी परिचय होता है या फिर मेरे भी या पास के इंटर में तो मैं पूरा इंटरेस्ट के साथ उसको सुनता हूँ अभी ओके ओके थैंक � Uh, Hare Krishna, Mamu. Hare Krishna. Uh, I'm Sarthak from class 11. Uh, and and I, I joined Parikhat from the class 10 from the last year. And then I got researched and enlightened by the uh, knowledge of Bhagavad Gita uh, being prescribed by our uh, sir, uh, teacher, there, who prescribed me the Bhagavad Gita. So I started to read about it. So then uh, I started to... Um, I was something like that. Ki, uh, I, I didn't believe in God and something like that because of, of the online uh, social media. But after Bhagavad Gita, I started to know that ki, yes, that's something uh, beyond uh, that we can uh, we, what we can do. So uh, then uh, I had many questions that ki, uh, why uh, why did we here? Why uh, are we here? What 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 is the purpose of the life? So uh, then, our uh, I uh, took help of some uh, some of our teachers that uh, that also helped me in uh, knowing more about this. 
so uh, now i have more trust in uh, bhagavad gita and in my life so uh, uh, can i ask sir a question that we uh, how can we uh, means com- completely um, be undistracted um, from the means world and stay focused on the line because uh, in the class 10 uh, there was no problem but in 11 it's a little bit burden of studies is more so cannot focus in uh, focus in bhagavad gita and um uh, means what can i do sir okay so good question he wants he wants to remain completely focused in life so if you want to remain focused then you have to remove those things which distract you so every one of us have a weakness towards certain things somebody has a weakness for for cricket somebody has a weakness for uh, for watching movies somebody has for playing video games so all these weakness weakness we have we have taste for all these things and when we don't have uh, so much higher taste for spiritual life so what we have to do is that right now apart from the fact that you have to do spiritual life you have to do your study also also well so just keep these two things as your priority first is your studies and second is understanding reading gita or attending classes like this or uh, chanting of holy name or reading bhagavad gita so keep study as your as your first priority and your uh, and th- keep this as second so these two things you do and apart from that find out those things which are distracting you taking consuming your lot of time may i know many students of your of your age might be highly getting distracted by this phone smartphone and uh, yesterday one boy had come to me along with his uh, sister and the sister was complaining that my brother is too addicted to smartphone and he keeps checking others status in whatsapp and he's completely oblivious what is his own status so people are busy checking their other status and who has to watch my status and lot of time goes in that one hour 45 minutes now right now you all joined in this class have a very a very crucial time of your career so make sure that you are not distracted by anything wrong which will be consuming your time occupying your uh, your subconscious mind so we have two type of mind which helps us to gain focus one is mind and second is subconscious mind so please don't feed your subconscious mind with things that are detrimental in the development of your personality so your personality can be very serene and uh, very developed if you are not bombarding yourself again and again by things that are very distracting such as video games addicts addiction to movies Hollywood movies, Tollywood movies, all these they thoroughly distract you and take you to a very, very uh, false paradigm and make you something feel important, which is actually very detrimental and not related to your life. So remain very focused and don't feed yourself with such kind of input. You see from where you are getting such kind of input. You might be getting such kind of input from your bad friends wrong associate friends who are not interested in spiritual life and very distracted and because of generally always remember we become we, we lose focus in life because of associating with somebody who is who is having no focus so don't associate with those people who are who are distracted in life they will distract you like that and also don't use too much into media don't be present so much in facebook instagram right now you don't need so much whatever is minimum needed for your studies and for your uh, you just do that and once you graduate from college having a nice degree good job you will be naturally having all these media presence you don't need right now you all are ninth eighth seventh students 10 students 11 students you don't get distracted by so much in my time when i was studying we did not have so this kind of things so the distraction was less but right now even even fourth fifth standard people i see in the train while traveling they keep on using instagram and facebook and whatsapp I don't know what they're going to do out of that. So what type of uh, link? So please make sure that you avoid all these things. Okay, thank you. Next question. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. The 10 days of auspicious tablets of devotion went like as if, as if it was of 10 seconds. It was indeed a great experience knowing about the past times of Jagannath Lord. I came to know about various unknown facts and stories, which will not only help me in uh, this quiz, but also help me to improvise, improvise my future. So, Prabhuji, I am very thankful to you, as well as the Parikshit team, 
who took the pain of sparing time from their busy schedule and uh, help us to help us to know about the past tense of lord uh, which not only gave us moral knowledge but also uh, but but also helped us to mold our futures in a positive direction Uh, so I am very thankful to you as well as all the prabhujis who gave us knowledge about the past tense of Lord. Uh, so thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Siddhant. Yeah. Next. So Majid Prabhu, in case nobody is asking, then you can read out the questions which are being posted. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, clearly audible. Please speak. Okay. So I'm Anandita from uh, DPS class 12. So firstly, I would say that I cherished all the 10 days spent. Uh, it was a great experience. And uh, yeah, so like I have three questions. <laughs> First one is, um, Jagannath ji ka uh, face black kyu hota hai? Like dusro ka to white hota hai, unka black kyu hota hai? Second one is कि मतलब वो जो रास्ते में जाने के टाइम पे from the temple to Mausima temple like in the middle of the their path उनको पोड़ो पिठा दिया जाता है तो कौन से point पे दिया जाता है मतलब कोई एक ही जगह पे दिया जाता है and वो कौन लाता है and the third one is कि वो लक्ष्मी माँ को क्यों नहीं लेते हैं साथ में okay very good since the first question you asked about what is the first question I forgot First question was कि जगन्नाथ जी का face black क्यों होता है? दूसरों का तो white होता है, उनका क्यों black होता है? तो कृष्णा और जगन्नाथ जी तो हैं वो कृष्णा हैं, उनका नाम ही कृष्णा, और उनका भाई बलराम है, बलराम white हैं और कृष्णा black हैं, तो जगन्नाथ जी तो कृष्णा है ना, तो कृष्णा है, कृष्णा तो black हैं, अभी आपको white color अच्छा लग वो ये मटेरियल वर्ल्ड का ब्लैक आपको अच्छा नहीं लगता होगा आप सोच रहे हैं जनरली मटेरियल वर्ल्ड में कुछ कोई कोई चोर होता है तो हमको बोलते हैं अरे काला काला कारोबार कर रहा है तो मटेरियल वर्ल्ड में जो काला होता है उसको उसको नेगेटिव सेंस में देखा जाता है लेकिन स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड में जो काला है वो नेगेटिव सेंस में नहीं है वो बहुत अट्रैक्टिव है और तो इसलिए जगन्नाथ जी ब्लैक है और ब्लैक भी है लेकिन बहुत ही ज्यादा अट्रैक्टिव है आप मत सोचिए ऐसे की काला है तो मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगे ऐसा नहीं है इनकेस आपको काला अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है तो उनके भाई है बलराम जी वो व्हाइट है वो तो आपको अच्छा जरूर लगेंगे दोनों में कोई फर्क नहीं है कृष्णा और बलराम प्रभुपाद जी बोलते हैं दोनों में कोई फर्क नहीं है कृष्णा और जगन्नाथ जरूर बोलते हैं तो आपका दूसरा क्वेश्चन है कि वहाँ पे उनको पोड़ो पिठा कहाँ पर खिला जाता है वो पोड़ो पिठा माउसी मां मंदिर में खिला जाता है आप पूरा एग्जैक्टली हाफ वे में एक मंदिर है अर्धासिनी देवी करके मंदिर है वो अर्धासिनी देवी जगन्नाथ जी के मौसी है वो गुंडीचा महारानी की छोटी बहन है तो उधर वो पोड़ो पिठा खिला जाता है उसी मंदिर में उस मंदिर के जो कार्यकर्ता है वो लोग खिलाते हैं और तीसरा सवाल आपका है कि तीसरा सवाल कि वो लक्ष्मी को साथ में ले लेंगे क्यों नहीं लेंगे ये सही है तो जगन्नाथ जी जो जा रहे हैं अभी वो एक्चुअली क्या होता है जगन्नाथ जी का ये जो लक्ष्मी है वो जगन्नाथ जी रथ यात्रा में जाते हैं कहाँ है आपको वो पहले पता होना चाहिए जगन्नाथ जी जाते हैं वृंदावन और वो वृंदावन में लक्ष्मी का स्थान नहीं है वो वृंदावन में गोपियां रहता है गोपी अभी ये जो गोपी और लक्ष्मी में बहुत फर्क है लक्ष्मी ऐसे कहते हैं कि करोड़ों लक्ष्मी जो गोपी जो होते हैं करोड़ों लक्ष्मी भी उनके बराबर नहीं होते बहुत ही भगवान जगन्नाथ कृष्ण के बहुत ही अंतरंग पार्षद हैं वो लोग और लक्ष्मी उधर जाएंगे तो समझ नहीं पाएंगे वृंदावन में आप वो जाके कुछ समझ नहीं पाएंगे इसलिए वो वृंदावन नहीं जा सकते लक्ष्मी वो वैकुंठ भाव में है उनका जो भाव है वो अलग भाव है वृंदावन का जो भाव है वो अलग है तो इसलिए लक्ष्मी जी उधर नहीं जा सकते काफी बार वो प्रयास करते हैं जाने के लिए वृंदावन में आप जाएंगे तो एक मंदिर है बेल बेल बन करके उधर वो गोपी लोगों को प्रार्थना करती है कि मैं वृंदावन में आना चाहता हूँ तो लेकिन जब वृंदावन आने का आशा तो रखते हैं तो लेकिन जब उधर क्या करते हैं उधर गोपिया बताते हैं अच्छा तुम वृंदावन आना चाहते हो तो वृंदावन में हम लोग गोपी रहते हैं हम लोग गाय से गाय का गोबर से पिठा बनाते हैं घसी बनाते हैं तो आपको वो बनाना पड़ेगा तो लक्ष्मी बोल जा रही है मैं तो नहीं छूती हूँ ये सब चीज क्योंकि उसकी भाव लक्ष्मी जी की भाव अलग है वो वो महेश जी के भाव में है लेकिन उधर गोपी जो है वृंदावन वो गांव है लोग उधर गाय चराते हैं और बहुत सिंपल रहते हैं तो लक्ष्मी जी वैसे नहीं रह पाएगी इसलिए वो नहीं जाती है ठीक है 
तो बट उनका वो तो रस तोड़ देता है ना गुस्सा से क्योंकि हाँ, वो तो नहीं जा पाते हाँ तो इसलिए वो क्योंकि जगन्नाथ जी ने उनको छोड़ दिए जब वो एक तरफ से जगन्नाथ जी की पत्नी है तो इसलिए वो गुस्सा होती है इतना दिन मेरे को छोड़ के आगे एक तो मुझे लेके नहीं आए और ये नहीं जानती है कि वो वृंदावन में वो आ नहीं सकती है जगन्नाथ जी जानते हैं कि लक्ष्मी जी वृंदावन नहीं जा सकती उधर जाएगी तो बहुत अनकम्फर्टेबल फील होगी उसको तो इसलिए नहीं लेके जा रहे लेकिन क्रोधित भी हो रही तुम वापस श्री मंदिर में क्यों नहीं आ रहे हो इसलिए इसलिए रथ तोड़ देते हैं ओके थैंक यू प्रभु जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी मैं पीयूष नंदा यस मेरे को एक तो क्वेश्चन था कि मतलब अभी हम लोग आप जैसे बोले कि जैसे हम लोग का रॉन्ग एसोसिएट्स हैं उन सब को हम लोग जो हम लोग को डिस्ट्रैक्ट करते हैं उन सब से हमको दूर रहना है लेकिन ऐसे भी कुछ बार होता है मतलब जब हम डिवोशन डिवोशनल प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो फिर जब हमारे रिलेटिव या फैमिली के कुछ मेंबर्स वो भी हमको अपोज करते हैं लेकिन वो भी कुछ मतलब उल्टा सीधा पेरेंट्स के दिमाग में घुस आते हैं और वो लोग भी अपोज करना पेरेंट्स भी अपोज करना स्टार्ट कर लेते हैं तो उस सिचुएशन को कैसे टैकल किया जाए ये अगर पेरेंट्स अगर अपोज करें तो ये एक्चुअली बहुत बड़ा लंबा विषय है इसको एक छोटा सा सेशन में डिस्कस नहीं कर सकते हैं पेरेंट्स है और बहुत सेंसिटिव केस है कभी कभी पेरेंट्स हमको ये नहीं करते हैं सपोर्ट नहीं करते हमारा कृष्णा कॉन्सियस क्योंकि उनको लगता है कि इतना ज्यादा भक्ति करना ठीक नहीं है थोड़ा बहुत ठीक है मंदिर में थोड़ा अगर घूम लिया जहाँ इतना गीता पढ़ने की क्या जरूरत है जगन्नाथ जी के ऊपर दस दिन का कथा करने का क्या जरूरत है इतना वो जो नहीं समझते वो और जो हम भक्ति करते हैं वो एक्चुअली वो उस भाग को नहीं समझ पाते हैं पेरेंट्स तो इसीलिए हमको क्या और है तो लेकिन हमारे पेरेंट्स हम ये नहीं सोचना चाहिए ये भक्त नहीं है ये लोग सब ऐसा नहीं सोचते बाहर के लोग है तो अलग बात है बाहर के जो फ्रेंड है उनको तो हम नेगेट कर सकते हैं उनसे दूर रह सकते हैं लेकिन पेरेंट्स आप नहीं रह सकते तो इसलिए आपको उनको बिना पता है बिना डिस्टर्ब किए हुए आपको धीरे धीरे भक्ति करना है और जब जब आपका पास वो शक्ति सामर्थ्य आएगा कि आप उनको बता सकते हो तब जाके बताना है तब पहले से नहीं बताना है अगर सब चीज पहले से बता दोगे उसको लगेगा ज्यादा ही बड़ा भक्त बन रहा है अभी सात आठ साल का दस पंद्रह साल बीस साल का उम्र है हमको भक्ति स्वीकार है हमको चालीस साल है हमको पचास साल हम दुनिया पूरा देखे हैं तो वो बोलो आपको मानेंगे नहीं तो इसलिए आपको उनको ज्यादा नहीं बताना है ज्यादा डिस्टर्ब नहीं करना है और आप जो कर पा रहे हो जितना आपका टीचर से समझ सकते हो सुन सकते हो तो उतना धीरे धीरे उतना प्रैक्टिस उनको बिना दिखाए उनको बिना बताए करना चाहिए अगर वो लोग आपके खिलाफ हैं भक्ति के खिलाफ तो ज्यादा उनको बताना जरूरत नहीं है आप जब सब चीजें उनको बताओगे और बोलोगे मैं ये करता हूँ वो करता हूँ तो अभी हमारे पास प्रॉब्लम क्या है आपको अभी एक दो साल हुआ है पता है एक ज्यादा से ज्यादा एक साल हुआ होगा एक इसको दो महीना किसको तीन महीना कुछ कुछ लोग तो अभी इसी क्लास में ही जाने होंगे भक्ति के बारे में तो इतना कम नॉलेज होकर अगर दूसरे लोगों का बताने का प्रयास करेंगे तो फिर उनका जो कन्विक्शन है वो ज्यादा है तो आप लोग का कन्विक्शन को बहुत फॉर्ट कर देंगे तो इसलिए उनको नहीं बताना है धीरे 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 प्रैक्टिस करने से और समय के साथ जब आपका जब रियलाइजेशन आ जाएगा आपको जब उसका जो चीज आप प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो जब उसका जब उसका अंतकरण आ जाएगा मतलब जब उसका आप अंगीकार कर लेंगे तब उसको जब बताएंगे तो फिर अलग बात अभी आपको आप आप उसको पूरा रियलाइज नहीं किए अभी थोड़ा बहुत आपको खाली पता हुआ है दो चीज होता है देर आर थ्री थिंग्स इन एनी थिंग यू डू इट इज कॉल्ड नोइंग डूइंग एंड बीइंग तो अभी आप नोइंग स्टेज पे हैं जब डूइंग स्टेज पे आएंगे और उसके बाद बीइंग स्टेज पे आएंगे नोइंग डूइंग एंड बीइंग बीइंग मींस बी ई आई एन जी बीइंग मींस एक्चुअली बी इन दैट प्लेस देन यू कैन टेल टू अदर्स मैं राइट नाउ आई एम अ साधु सो आई कैन टेल टू माय पेरेंट्स बिकॉज़ आई एम इन द बीइंग स्टेज But you are now knowing stage. If you tell in that, and then your parents will will break your uh, uh, conviction. So you should not tell. जैसे कि प्रभु जी, जैसे कि प्रभु जी हम बोलते हैं घर में कि मतलब नॉनवेज नहीं खाना चाहिए. तो फिर वो कुछ दूसरा ही थियोरी बता के बोलते हैं ऐसे नहीं खाओगे तो कैसे होगा? और वो सब. इसमें आप बोल सकते हैं कि आप लोग खाओ मैं तो नहीं खाऊंगा. तो आपको प्रस्तुति मना करना चाहिए और आपको आपका कन्विक्शन वो लोग देखेंगे ना आपका इंटरेस्ट नहीं है बार 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 आप तो बार बार वो फोर्स नहीं करेंगे फिर वो समझ जाएंगे वो छोड़ देंगे फिर आप फिर नहीं मत खाना बहुत सारा चीज आप तो करते होगे आपका कन्विक्शन में अभी घर पे जिद्दी करते हो ना बहुत सारा चीज करते हो जो कि पेरेंट्स फाइनली आपके साथ मानते हैं कुछ चाहिए तो आप जिद्दी करते हो तो इस चीज में आपको जिद्दी करना पड़ेगा कि मैं नहीं खाऊंगा आप लोग खाओ मैं मना नहीं कर रहा मैं नहीं खाऊंगा और धीरे धीरे वो देखेंगे आप नहीं खा रहे हो और आप बहुत निष्ठा के साथ इसमें आप इसमें आप जुड़े हुए तो धीरे धीरे वो भी छोड़ दें वो सोचेंगे हमारा बेटा नहीं खा रहा है तो हम क्यों खाएंगे 
और नहीं भी छोड़े तो आप मत चिंता कीजिए आप प्रैक्टिस करते रहिए करते रहिए धीरे धीरे तो धीरे 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 आप देखेंगे उसका फर्क पड़ेगा ठीक है प्रभु जी थैंक यू प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी माई सेल्फ मयंक मधुर साहू ऑफ क्लास इलेवन यस सर इन दिस शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ऑफ दिस सेशन सर बाय लिस्निंग ऑफ वेरियस एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वेरियस डिफरेंट डिवोटीज आई वॉज एबल टू न्यू दैट लॉर्ड डजेंट हैव एनी लिमिट टू डू फॉर हिज डिवोटी एंड अ ट्रू डिवोटी कैन सर्व हिज और हर गॉड बाई एनी वे टू एनी एक्सटेंट and by these various examples he set a history that faith dedication and love for him can get you closer to him at any point of time it doesn't matter how worse his or her surrounding gets a devotee can get closer to his god whether it is kal yug dwapar yug treta yug or satya yug so this is oh. uh, i feel very good by knowing this thank you thank you thank you so much thank Next. you prabhu hari krishna There are some so many questions being are being posted. Probably you can read them out. Yes, Prabhu Ji, I now dictate. I now dictate the questions for you. Yeah. Pratyush Priyanshu asks, Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji, Prabhu Ji, how can we know that we are always? Sorry, Prabhu. Hare uh, Anvesha Maharana asks, Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, can you please repeat the name of Mata Gundicha's small sister? Ardha Sini Devi. Ardha Sini Devi. Ardha Sini Devi. Shruti Nayak asks, Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Prabhu Ji, can Lord have two avatars in the same yoga, and can they exist at the same time? All all Lords incarnation they exist simultaneously. they exist there is all incarnations of god they exist simultaneously it's not that one incarnation god has lived and now he is going no all all incarnations they exist simultaneously yeah next question chigisha dash asks hare krishna prabhu ji i have some questions in one opposition of others if someone gives up and follows their instruction is it considered a give up Because I guess it's one of the tests for bhaktas by Prabhu. I did not get. I did not get to what. If on opposition of others, including parents and some close ones, if someone gives up and follows their instructions, is it considered a give up? Because I guess it is one of the tests for bhaktas by Prabhu. Hmm. Actually, I'm not getting what you are asking. The question is not clear to me. Actually, Prabhu Ji, इनका कहना ये है कि अगर हमें कोई oppose करते हैं, जैसे हमारे माँबाप या हमारे करीबी लोग, हम लोग उनको follow ना करके भक्ति के रास्ते पे जाए तो क्या ये रास्ता क्या ये रास्ता सही होगा कि नहीं ओके 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 फाइन तो नाउ यू सी योर पेरेंट्स दे लाइक योर पेरेंट्स दे इन वन सेंस दे नेवर वांट योर एनीथिंग रॉन्ग फॉर मी व्हाट दे 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 डोंट वांट यू टू प्रैक्टिस भक्ति सो देयर देयर कैन बी अ केस बिकॉज़ दे डोंट नो दैट भक्ति इज अल्टीमेटली गुड फॉर यू देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन दैट tomorrow tomorrow parents uh, you know you say for example you get distracted you fall in friendship with some bad people bad association right that time they will not be able to help you understand so there is uh, there is certain definitely some duty towards parents but the their provi their uh, scope of helping you is limited and god's scope of helping you is unlimited so understanding this you have to you should not completely give up in case they are opposing you 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 practice in a in a way by which they will not get disturbed they will not come to know much about your practice but you must practice because it's not it is not considered that you are denying you are disobeying your parents and because of that you will be 
you will be at a, at a committing a mistake. It is not at all a mistake. Somebody who is doing what is being taught by God, just because parents they don't know, so they, it will not be considered to be something very, uh, very detrimental. It's not very dangerous, and and it's not that you are going to smoke, smoke, or you are ruining your. Uh, if you are not studying and you are all the time into so-called spiritual life, then your parents will be unnecessarily concerned. But uh, I don't think any parents they will see that their son is doing good in academics and he is practicing spiritual life. No parents will oppose like that. Okay, next question. Yeah, brother Sahu asked. We have seen many cases where devotees, when experience anything related to Lord Jagannath, he gets joyful or sad when he can't worship. But in Bhagavad Gita, it is written that a stiti pragya or stira buddhi person never get disheartened on experiencing sadness or being happy. So they, there are three, there are stita pragya or jivan mukta person or, or samadhi sasya. There are two types of people. One person is called Samadhi person, a Samadhi Stasya person, or Sita Pragya person. He is a Jnani. He is not a devotee. He is a Jnani. So there is a difference between a pure devotee and a Sita Pragya. A Sita Pragya is a Jnani. He is much below a devotee actually. And he will not get disturbed when there is. I uh, know there is uh, profit and loss. It is for him. It is not for a devotee. That sloka in Bhagavad Gita, we say that that is not for a devotee. That is for a for a jnani person. So we are not jnani. We are devotees. So devotee naturally, whenever he he, he gets mercy of the Lord, he is joyful. When he gets separated from Lord devotee, he becomes morose and wants to become morose. But a jnani person for him, generally, you know, he has to give up material rejoice and material. Uh, sorrow like that. So that is not for a devotee in Bhagavad Gita. That's Shloka. Okay, next. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. We got another question uh, from Om Prasad Das that yes. suicide is considered as a sin and one who commits has to be in this material world till his number of breaths end. Does the same happen to a soul whose body is killed or murdered? No, not necessarily. See, it is said that a person's number of breaths, they are fixed. A person's generally, but it is not very fixed. There are three types of lifespan is fixed in three different ways. One is called Ghana Tarar and another is called Ghana Tarar. So sometimes it is very fixed. It will, a person will fix that you will have this much lifespan, very fixed. And for certain people it is Ghana Tarar. It is fixed and they may die also. And for some person, uh, he, it is thorough. It is, you know, he may die at any moment like that. So it is not, it is not like a robot that is completely fit. It is not like this. In Gaurud Puran, it says that it varies. Like that. But there are some certain points at which a person will die. If you cross, say, for example, 23 years, uh, you may die at 23. And if you cross 23, then you will live for 20 more years. So you will die again 43. And if you cross 43, you will live for 60, something like that. Okay, next question. So, Mehdi Prabhu, should we stop here? I think we have lost time. I'm very, very thankful to all the students. And uh, Yes, Prabhu, Dhaniyavad, that you gave us so much time, so much knowledge, and so much we have explored into the spiritual life for us. And we know about Jagannatha, Puri, and Rathyatra, everything. And, and today, also, the last also, day of yes, Charit yes, Sarkhi yes, yes. everyone yes, shared their experiences, asked their question, whatever doubts they had in their mind. I hope they all got clear. And uh, Dasat Prabhu has really answered the question very wonderfully. And I hope that everyone is unanswered. And this is... So many people. This year, Pratyatra 2023, Chariots of Devotion 2023, it is the final day. And I hope the next year and the next year and until our breath is there, we will continue this. So, Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Dhanyavad Prabhuji, Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhu Ji. Prabhu, I was saying that you can give my WhatsApp number to the students in case they want to ask something. Those who have questions should not ask. They can ask me. Ask me, I'll answer them. I'll give them all something. Surely, Prabhu Ji, we'll uh, let your number give it to them. Yes, Or you can questions give it to me. I can answer and send. Uh, yes, Prabhu Ji. Yes, Prabhu Ji. Dhaniwad, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.